Today was really a test to take an average guy like me, who's a really, really average hunter, that's not a good shooter. Miss. Me. I don't even know the last time I've shot. It's a tough shot. I don't think I've shot a rifle for two years. I, I really don't. Boom. Hey everybody, today we're out at the range. I've got my friend Rafe Nielsen here, Director of Marketing for Browning. Uh, Rafe, we have a variety of X-Bolts and the biggest reason that we wanted to come out today was because I, I am your typical, I wanna go to the store, I wanna buy a gun, I wanna buy a box of ammo, I don't wanna load my own, nothing wrong with anyone that wants to do that. Right. You guys have really kind of created a system that gives a guy like me the opportunity to go to a retailer, to buy a gun, buy a box of ammo, put a really nice loophole scope on it, and be ready to hunt. Uh, and the other thing is we've got these custom turrets. So anytime you say the word custom, I want you to explain that a little uh, bit. Tell me about the custom turret and how does that, like how do you put that equation together? So what the turret is, is, is essentially you send your ballistic information of the ammunition that you're gonna shoot. So we've sent that ballistic information over to Leupold. They have custom cut a turret it to yardages to match that ammunition. So we've, we've zeroed them in at 100 yards, and the, the turret that's on there now, you're able to dial by yardage instead of by MOA, 200, 300, 400, 500 yards. You should be right on. It's all done for all you. All done. Yeah, it's it's all done. So it's literally a matter of just ordering the, the turret that they already have built. Exactly. Yeah, perfect. So, all right, well, we're going to shoot some guns here and uh, get into some hunting scenarios and show you just how incredible this gun is straight out of the box. It's been about 12 years now since we, we came out with the X-Bolt that replaced the, the original A-Bolt that we had in the line for another 25 years. So we've had a, a long history of, of bolt action rifles in the company. There really isn't another production rifle that uh, comes off the line, ready to go. It's as easy to use as what the x bolt is, and, and that was a big piece of the design is it was very user friendly. The other piece of that is that it's extremely accurate. Really, really like my new gun, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Like, that's crazy to me. Like, I mean, I've never been able to do that. I don't, I don't mean ever. So we basically, now we're gonna move into the hunting scenario. We came off the bench, which I, I wanna say anybody can do, but and, I mean, look, I did it, so obviously anybody <laughs> can do it. <laughs> you know, but I mean, the, the gun's clearly set up, ready to go, and, and the thing that was most fascinating to me is, Having access to a place like that probably would be the biggest challenge in the entire scenario. Right. Because going and getting the gun, getting the scope, getting the turret, like that's all factory pre-made stuff yep. between you guys and Browning mm -hmm. and then, you know, when we get your optics from loophole. We proved the guns can do it, right? Yeah. Dials work, we're shooting out there off the bench. That's, like I said, relatively easy to do under a controlled environment. You're not here, you got a sloped heel, there's no bench. How do you want to try to shoot him? You want to try to lay down on your pack? You want to try to shoot him off the sticks and, and maybe do a little bit of all of it and see where you feel most comfortable trying to even shoot in a in a more hunting-like scenario. Cool, so, love it. Okay. So here are your tools. You got a pack, you got a bipod, you got shooting sticks. And incredible skill. So let's start with the deer. 365 at the deer. So, so we're gonna go through this as live as we possibly can. I'm gonna throw in earplugs, sunglasses, try to get set up, uh, dial up and just take you. I'm, I'm not gonna stop. So you follow me along. Uh, we're gonna go through this normal situation and scenario and, and see how it plays out. So let's see what happens. Here we go.
Left shoulder, good shot. Dead deer. So let's try this scenario. Let's say there's a big bush here and you can't lay down. Grab the sticks, see if you can make the same shot off of the <laughs> sticks sitting on your butt. Okay, sitting on my butt. At least you're giving me the set on my butt option. I'll take the set on my butt option. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. It's going downhill. So we're on the deer. Miss. So what, so what you learn in these scenarios is <laughs> where you can make a shot and where you shouldn't make a shot. So you get in this scenario, you get up there and you realize, I'm angled bad, I'm leaning back, I'm not, you know, now that's not a very good shooting position for you. Right. I'm gonna move up to a position where I can get my feet below me. I'm still gonna settle my butt, but I'm gonna take my pack off, kind of wedge it behind me, give me a little bit of a brace, uh, take the sticks, and I'm actually gonna break these bog pod sticks down a little bit uh, to, to kind of show you how it, it would be able to give you a more vertical position so your feet don't have the chance to slip on you as much. Feeling a lot better in this situation right here. I'm much more braced, 365. Our reticle's much more sturdy this time. And bingo. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the one knee, bog pod, double sticks here, cross them up, and basically get as much of a rest as I can and go for the coyote at 175. And you guys are saying that I'm gonna miss, both Rafe. of you. Rafe said I'm gonna miss, and Rafe's calling, gonna miss. Rafe's calling a miss. Yeah. Boom! Look at Rafe! <laughs> Look at that! See how quick that was? <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, he jumped a mile at that one. <laughs> oh. I miss him again? Coyotes are small. You got a you got a six to eight inch target at 170 yards off end. That's a tough oh, I'm shot. down to 300. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough shot. There you go. Got it. Finally. I'm gonna take one laying down at the bear, 500 yards. And let me just tell you, I'm not a 500 yard type guy, but laying down with this, pretty confident. Yep. Winger, right in the vital. Boom. That's crazy. You've taken it up a notch in complexity when you're doing standing, without a doubt. The standing tripod is a huge, aid, it's still not an easy shot. Good job. The x bolt was designed to be um, one of the most accurate production rifles out of the market. Um, out of the box, it is one of those guns that you can just take, throw a scope on, and you're gonna have inherent accuracy um, virtually no matter what caliber you shoot but skill level you are, the gun itself is, is one of the most inherently accurate rifles that you'll ever find out on the market. Bing. That's pretty good. That was like it was easy. You know, 15 years ago, people would buy a rifle, they'd take it down to a gunsmith, they'd have the, the trigger adjusted, they'd have glass bedding, they'd have the barrel floated. They do all those, those accuracy aids, and all of those come standard with the X-Bolt. Even, you know, some people would have to rebarrel their rifle to get the accuracy they wanted. Um, the X-Bolt delivers on all of those uh, features. For a gun that's that effective, that's that affordable, that easy to get your hands on, I have no idea why anyone would want to shoot something different.